what the heck is going on with my sales? I hear that all the time throughout the year. Today, we're going to tell you how to avoid worrying about things like that in the future. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to answer the question on what's going on with sales. Not just now, but anytime you're wondering what's going on with your sales. There's many things you can do to alleviate that worry. It's a worry to most people, especially when out of nowhere your sales just drop off to almost nothing. It happens to a lot of people. It will continue to happen going forward, of course. Now, the biggest thing I can tell you to do, whether you're just starting off in business or if you've been doing this for a very long time so get a spreadsheet and track your sales day by day on that spreadsheet and then add year by year's information on that same spreadsheet so you can look at multiple years worth of information all at a glance you can see when things are going to happen you can forecast when sales might drop and you can preemptively fix the issue ahead of time now if you look at my store many of my items are on sale right now right this very second and why would that be? Right this minute is Halloween. We've got Halloween time coming around right now. Lots of kids, even with the pandemic, are still trick-or-treating in some areas, some states, some cities. Other people are having smaller get-togethers and things along that line. Parties or other events are going on regardless of the current situation. So that means many people may not be online looking for certain things. And writing this stuff down, this information down year by year will give you a good note on what is going on. Not only that, there's a week or so gap that could happen year by year by year. It's the gap from three or four days before Halloween to just after the election. They're at the same time year after year after year after year. There's a pattern that you will see constantly if you write this stuff down and keep track of it. Now, if you're new and you plan on doing this going forward, start from day one. Write this stuff down. It may not seem too important to you right now. But come next year when you're wondering why there is a drop-off in February or something weird's happening at a certain date in summer or anything like that, you can look and see what's going on. Many things like that are trackable. You can literally use a calendar to determine what's going to happen. And if you're paying attention and writing that information down, you can alleviate all of those situations to begin with. You can do something special ahead of time. So if you know it's typically slow, all the time, year after year after year, at a certain time frame, a certain week frame, you can go ahead and do sales ahead of time. You don't have to do a huge sale. Just drum up some business. You'll get some more opportunities to send offers to watchers. Again, one great way to increase your offers to watchers is to do a small sale. It will allow more people to have watched your items because they are on sale, hence giving you more opportunities. If you want to see a good two-step method that will increase your opportunities to send those offers out, watch my video right up here. It's going to show you a surefire way that pretty much will always increase your watchers and hence your opportunities to make more money. So there's many things you can do. If you know it ahead of time, you can address it ahead of time. You wouldn't be waiting till, wow, my sales just tanked. You would be strolling through there with a sale, with more opportunities, more offers and things along that line. I do that every time ahead of time. Preemptively correcting a problem is always far better than waiting till it happens and then trying to figure out what happened and what to do about it. Again, you can predict most of these events. Some holidays or some events could have different time frames year by year, but it's usually the exact same time length. I don't worry about what's going to happen in the future because I do have a predictable way to judge that by tracking that information happens year after year. Again, we've been doing this over 10 years, so I've been tracking this for a very, very long time, and you can predict all of these sorts of things. Now, let's look at those new folks who are just now getting to reselling. 
there is an opportunity to look at the calendar and figure out things that might be going on. Again, if it's pulling people away from the internet or pulling people away from what they normally would do, it means that they may not be buying as much items. They may be preoccupied with what's going on. I can pretty much tell you Monday and Tuesday will probably be fairly slow. A lot of people will be out and about and voting and things along that line. So it may be slower for you going into next week as well. These are all things you have to think about. Thinking ahead, not just looking at every day as it hits you. Now, far too many people go day by day. They'll look at today, and that's the only day they're really thinking about. What am I going to do today? You've really got to be looking weeks in advance, months in advance, years in advance, to kind of get the whole thing rolling in the right path to situate stuff going on, when to do this, when to do that, when to run a sale, when it's slow, when all these things are going to happen. Knowing about them in advance is, is really the best means to keep your business going. That's why you see stores running sales at certain times of the year. They didn't just spur the moment think about running a sale. These are planned year after year. A 4th of July sale, an Easter sale, all those sorts of events. Memorial Day, Labor Day, those are all events that people do do things for. So there's different reasons to do stuff during those times of the year. Pay attention to those dates. Keep a calendar when you're doing this. Don't just be looking at the current day you are on. Always be looking ahead. You need to know what's going on into the future talked about projections many many times do projections on what your sales are going throughout the month check them a couple times a day you can project all of that from pretty much ahead of time from day one of the beginning of the month and you can project day by day with the new sales that are coming in and have a good idea if your sales are going down or if your sales are going up Every industry on the globe does projections. Brick and mortars, pretty much everyone I've ever seen worked at or been around has done projections to track their sales. Not just projections, but they also compare those to year over last, two years over last, three years over last to see where they're going. Where is their business tracking? Are they tracking up 3%? Are they tracking down 3%? Those are all key important factors you need to know. It's something that will help your business grow. And as I said, we're running a sale right now. We are sending out a ton of offers to watchers and I'm hammering them constantly. If I send out 40 or 50 in the morning, by the afternoon I have another 30 to 50 more almost every day. So in a given day, I can send out more if I constantly send them out than if I just sit there and wait. I am hammering those all day long and I constantly get new ones in. So if there's some issues, sales and markdown, go back and watch that video I holler out in the link here as well. Those are key things you can do to help your business. It will help increase your business knowing what's going to happen ahead of time. It'll alleviate those headaches, those worries. You'll just be able to look at a piece of paper and it'll say, hey, it was slow last year. It was slow the year before that, right here between Halloween and the election or next month, the day after Thanksgiving or whatever the case may be. A good example is say the day after Christmas. I usually am not super busy the day after Christmas because a lot of people are returning gifts possibly that they had or are hanging out with family who are in town. You have to look at what's going on around that. Maybe video games are flying off the charts but clothing is dropped dead that time frame. So if you're selling clothing you may have an issue certain times of the year for just those reasons. Kids are home the day after Christmas. Christmas, the whole week obviously, so games and things like that sell off the hook. Other items, of course, kids aren't going to be going out and buying clothing as much. They're going to want the toys, the games, and things like that. So these are all factors you should know. You should at least be tracking so you can determine that going forward into the future. You can't fix it once it's happened, but you can sure enough be looking out for it to happen if you're keeping track of it. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also with the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
Police flashes. Police are frantically scouring the town in search of Terry Slippery Fingered Hargan. Hargan has robbed his 18th consecutive safe in nine days. A large reward is offered for his capture. Does your car have indigestion? Does it burp in the morning? Try no burpoline, the only gasoline containing bicarbonate of soda. Hey, Mo, why don't we capture Hargan and collect the reward, then we can pay our bills? Oh, it's as simple as all that. Hargan is going to walk right in here and let you capture him. You're nuts. We're going to be paupers. Paupers! Are you kidding? We're not even married. Why oh. don't you be quiet? 